Yeah. All right, so quick little rundown. We're at Mindari. This boat hasn't been in the water for months, and I mean months. So we're gonna take it out, give it a bash. So There's about an hour before sunlight. We're gonna go out, maybe go for squidding. Don't know what we're gonna do yet, but we're gonna test the boat out, see if it runs good. Because this new machine is gonna be our top water slayer. He's put in a, a deck here to cast off and there's just nothing in the way. With my boat, it's a cabin, and there's just shit in the way all the time. So we've got a little dinghy. Let's make it easier for us. Staying close, flick for little shit. Good fun, but let's get in the water and have a go. Drop the squid jig in. First time we've been squid jigging, and hey, look! Oh, <laughs> I don't want it to squirt us, so I'm gonna pull it. Squirt her. How good is that? We're on! <laughs> First drop, boy. Bye First spot, we came and uh, we filmed nothing, so I'm gonna go through a quick rundown of what we've done and what we're doing. But how good is this? That's a big one. Oh, get that little squirt. <laughs> Alright, so quick rundown. I wasn't expecting to catch anything, I was just leaving um, a squid jig out the back. But. We just got out, which is the first spot that we got to. I just dropped the squid jig in to um, to just chill out the back while we're getting stuff ready. But I had one going out the back and it just goes off straight away. So what we got, we're here, just like about a kilometer offshore, not even. So we're gonna stay here for a little bit longer. Catch a few more squid if we can, but how good is that? It's long in the dark. Down. This is where I caught the um, the bigger jewy last time. So I go back to this spot to see if it's producing again. There's a few little fish, but hopefully the bigger fish come. Oh, Saji. So this is probably the best bait for jewfish. So when you find these guys, it's a good sign that jewies are going to be here. So I'm going to fill it this, and then we're going to use this lab for bait. Caught a few jewies, but nothing crazy. We've cut up the bait in slabs like this. Breaker. Just fill them like that, put them in a snail, drop them down, full sinker, just heavy enough to get to the bottom and let it drip. Simple as that. I'll let one drip down the back and I'll jig. I'm trying orange now. So best of both worlds, usually the jigs get hit or it's usually the bait, it's one or the other. Jigs haven't been hit yet today. How good's jigs? Very good. Bait's the best. Back it up. Back it up. Shit. This guy has. You're not a bloke unless you had a bloke, mate. <laughs> and the new addition to the ski. It's a trial run. We got the we got the little pup coming with us. First time he's been out really on the ocean. So let's see if he can handle it. Are you ready for it? Huh? Alright, so I'm gonna chuck four rods in there. What have I got in it? Let's have a look. Let's 
take a look. So, what's in it? It's got a little spring that holds it up so it won't go down. Got burly bait, water, towels, snacks, and tackle. That's pretty much it. And then in here, we have music, line, knife. Pretty handy. So, let's get it set up and get this on the water. Let's see if he likes it. This is where we sit, literally. You're right, mate. All right, ready to go. All right, let's get it in. This is all the test run. Hopefully it all goes to plan. There's like four billion boats out here. But, fuck it. Let's get on the water and let's see. What do you reckon? What do you reckon, Skip? And it's hard to fish Perth Metro. If you don't know, if you're not from around here, if you're not from Perth or you're not from Australia, it's hard fishing in Perth metro areas. It's been out fish like crazy. I usually fish more north in Two Rocks, but today we're giving it a shot in um, in Hillary's, which is pretty much the most popular boat ramp north of the city. But I still try and catch a snapper because there's a snapper spot. I was supposed to go in the morning at 5 a.m. Oh, how's this cunt's boat? Crook as shit. He was definitely drunk when he put that on. Just on the piss. Hey, all through their own. All through. I forgot what I was saying, but... Bovang was a bit... Bovang! I didn't really know this, but I've just been told that I'm not allowed to go more than 400 meters off the shore. Well, it's a $200 fine. So, um, Little Island is about 500 meters. And I said, can I go to Little Island? And she goes, nah. You need some flares. And you need one of those really fluoro life jackets. Because I have no GPS, no fish finder, there is a break here. It looks a bit weedy on the bottom, so I'm not gonna anchor. I'm gonna burly out, because it looks like there's a rock here, and there's a rock out to the open. Um, looks like it goes onto sand, so I'm gonna keep burlying. Just um, cubes of muley. If we can catch anything decent, because um, if we do, with no sounder and GPS, I literally have no idea where I am. I'm gonna go out there, I'm gonna drift into it, see what happens. I'm gonna do it about four times because let the burly work. So I'm gonna burly literally as I'm drifting, have a burly trail, go back, burly trail, go back, burly trail, go back, burly trail. Nothing there. We're just gonna cut our losses and uh, I might flick some lures at the breaking point if we can catch anything on, on the reefs, but what do you reckon? 
Just go with the flow. But let's see if we get a fish. Yeah. Bates at the back. Yes, we multiply. I can't get no recall. I know what both don't know. We're in the snapper spot at lunchtime, 12 o'clock. I don't think there's gonna be a snapper, but maybe we'll give it a shot. If not, we'll chuck some lures at the breaking breaking point. See if we can get anything. Pinky, so you know the pinkies are here. It's just now we're gonna get the bigger ones. Look at this. Push up. There you go. Woo! Woo! So we've been here for about an hour, caught a little pinky and just re fished. But he's lost a bit of energy. I know if he can get seasick. So, I'm gonna go to an island and I'll dock up and I'll um, get him running around to see if he's um, gonna feel better, but. Oh, so there's seals on the island. So we're gonna bail from this island because we're gonna let them go. See you later, mate. Let's go. Here we go. Oh, you're super cold. And let's get him warm, let's take him home, and then I'll come out. What do you reckon? Pretty cold? All right, let's go home. I kind of feel a little bit bad, but... He's still alive. So I've got to get him in now. And we'll go back out. Happy is to be on land. I think he did get a little bit seasick. I'm gonna check with the vet, see if that's a real thing. So I've decided to take him only on little trips. <laughs> because I think he gets seasick. And I don't want to put him in that situation, so only when I take the big boat out, we'll go out for a long time. But with the ski, only little trips is coming out next time. Before I leave, we should grab something. And one of these. Now we're set. We can't get hassled about anything now. All right, heading back now. Without the dog, I'm gonna see if I can just go out flip for some air and get some bait 
and maybe have a snorkel. So, got it. the only bad thing is I've only got 20% battery left. I just wasted it all on really nothing. So, 20%. Let's see if I can get some good content. You. So here it looks pretty good for herring. We're not gonna bother them. We're gonna go over here. We're gonna go fish this little little bank here. And let's see if we can catch herring. away from them and they're following me. What a country we live in. Alright, so we got away from the seals. We're gonna we're anchored in about one meter of water. I'm gonna fucking just barely out to literally nothing. Hopefully herring will come and I can just flick for them. So hopefully that will work. I'm literally just going to use chicken pellets. Alright, I've casted over a hundred times easily. No hearing, literally going home. Hello. Don't go 